Hi, my name is Brenna Grishella. I'm a senior at Waverly High School. Sweet Nicholas! <laughs> and this is the reason I hate autumn. I light my fall scented candle and crouch over the clothes I will wash when I feel better. And this is the second month that I've said that. My room doesn't smell like fall anymore. It smells like the way forgotten pumpkins look, melting on front porch steps long after Halloween. And it could be the coffee cup I've had half full since I started my new job in July, or the pastry I began but never finished, maybe the multiple cans of soda that have faced the same fate. I am so ashamed when my doctor tells me anxiety will keep you organized. This place looks like the scene of an accident for the cops after the wreck, except I am the accident. I put the last portrait I have of my mother on the windowsill. I will worry about it yellowing when I feel better, but by then she will turn to ash in her frame. It will be the second time I have seen my mother in this form. My best friend's obituary makes second page news, brings back memories of my own mother's death. My room has become the embodiment of my grief the rose I was given at McKenna's funeral to place on her casket is instead hung and dries inside the arms of a bear I was given at the school we both should have attended together. Reminds me of the bear I was given at the bottom of a special cop car that sits inside a Goodwill somewhere. I do not remember why I chose to give it away. My grief doesn't make sense to anyone but to me, just like it doesn't make sense to lose a friend at 17. McKenna was buried in a bright blue dress with Skittles and a motorcycle helmet. When I got home, I threw every blue dress I owned away. Did not want a reminder of how beautiful she looked, unlike my mother, who was cremated before they let her parents see the body. All of her reduced to ash and rubble, a modern day Pompeii. It took years for me, to, for me to be able to clear my mother's ashes from my lungs, to be able to breathe without inhaling rubble. I read somewhere there are five stages of grief, but I swear there must be more. It was so close to the end, I began to be able to breathe when I got swept right back under like crumbs on the carpet. Wrote all of them down. Stuff the list under my bed. We'll find it near my mother's locket. Won't have to see it until I leave and gone. I'm so great at burying things. Every obituary I have from everyone I know who has died, and I didn't want you to join them. I haven't said your name the same way since you passed, but McKenna, today I cleaned my room. Mm -hmm.